Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, check out the top right eye as well. Also the Patreon link in my description if you want to support me that way. Otherwise, just keep watching and that's good enough. Um, so in the last video, what we did was we subdivided our player GUI tabs into this tabs functionality. Now I want to just show you what my idea is here uh, in case I didn't do it in the last video. So my idea is to have the player GUI on the screen. So you have your HP bar, you have some other thing here, you might have some other stuff here, whatever, anything that might be a player GUI. But those are small things that you can keep track of very easily, right? And the thing is, when having tabs like this, you want to have a character tab, you want to have an inventory screen, you want to have maybe some other type of tab, maybe skill tab. You have a bunch of things, right? And those contain a bunch of things within themselves. And to do that in one class is going to be pretty hard. That's why, first of all, I divided up this into two classes, the player GUI and the player GUI tabs, .cpp and h, so that class. Now what I want to do is further divide that into tabs. So say you have one tab here, the character tab open is visible. You can do things, you can interact with things here, add points, whatever. And then you'll have another tab open, maybe uh, separately with an inventory screen and a player, player showing all the equipment it has. And then maybe on top of that, you'll open the skill tab where you will do a bunch of things. So that's how we want to do it. I'm not sure if I want to keep everything to one side or maybe all the character related tabs on one side and then uh, all the inventory related tabs on the right side. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, guys. I have uh, had a pretty rough time with Corona. So I'm pretty sure it was Corona at least. So my throat isn't 100%. But anyway, so that's what I want to do. That's my intention. And to do that, we are going to have to create some GUI tabs and stuff. So I created a little folder called player GUI tabs here in GUI. And I'm going to shove my GUI tabs H and CPP into that. And I'm just going to run this to make sure it runs, first of all, so we don't have any errors. Because I don't think I ran this in the last video just to check that it works. So sorry about that. You should always run your application when you're working with stuff like this. So go ahead and do that. New game. And everything is working. There's no tab showing, nothing. Everything's fine. No crashes. So we're not really using our GUI tab as of yet. So I'm going to add a new class here. And this class is going to be called the character tab. That's it. Character tab. Okay. And you have your character tab. And of course, it's going to be spawned in, I was going to say, into the wrong places. So I don't want to do that. I want to just grab that from there and then the source file from here and just put it into my GUI. And then you have your class ready to go here. I'm going to do a private section, of course, and also a nice little section here. So there you go. You have your constructor and everything. Now, obviously, I need to check if I'm recording. Yes, I am. Um, good. And I'm also going to create a new class here called a uh, tab. And this is going to contain some stuff that is very, uh, very much generic for all the tabs. So I'm going to create that. Good. Good. And in the tab.h, I'm going to include or character tab.h, I'm going to include tab.h. And within this, I'm going to say public tab. So I'm inheriting from the class tab. Good. Now we have a few things ready and good to go. Of course, I'm going to call the tab constructor in the CPP file as well. Uh, the character tab CPP file, don't forget to do that. So now mostly what we're going to do is we're also going to work in the character tab section. Now we have a nice subdivided GUI that we can work on. So we're not working in one file. And I know it might seem scary to have a bunch of files like this, but it's, uh, trust me, it's a lot better than having just one file. For example, GUI, player GUI. Imagine having all the tabs in this, this one right here. You don't want that. Trust me. Um, <clears throat> so, so what are we doing? What are we doing? Now, next thing is to go into our tabs and see what we had. Now in our tabs.h, player GUI tabs, what we we're, we're going to do here is we're going to create a 
character tab here character tab and obviously we need to include that so include include character tab and now since we're doing that we're gonna need this beautiful the includes here we're gonna need to include in tab.h so go ahead and include that in tab.h which in turn will be included in character tab.h also I'm gonna add a private section in the tab Sorry for jumping around here a lot, but we're going to take this stepwise. So next step, open player GUI tabs.h and see what we have here. Okay, we have a VM, font, player, all these things. We're going to need this in our character tab. And this is probably going to be something we're going to need in our tab in general. So I'm going to put it in our general tab section here. <clears throat> and usually it's just going to be for player. That's why I have player in here. And make sure there are references again to force it. Now, we need to just get in here, paste that in there, and exchange or replace all this stuff with commas. And you will have a nice looking tab constructor. Copy this. Now, we, won't, we don't want to be able to create a tab, so we're going to make tab virtual, uh, pure virtual, an abstract class, sorry. <clears throat> so that's going to be a lot better for us. Now, I want to go into our character tab and add or tab.cpp sorry add this to the cpp and then what we're going to do here in the initializer list is say vm is vm font is font and player is player <clears throat> sorry about my voice guys again it's going it's going on me it's going on me but we're soon done with this video uh so it's no problem now we have the tab of course in tab.h, you have your character tab. Here as well, you want to paste all these in here beautifully. Character tab, CPP, paste that in there. And in the tab, of course, uh, paste in VM, font, and player. I hope I didn't go too fast for you, but you can rewind and check it out. So I basically just added these three parameters to all of these character tab sections. <clears throat> Once you have that, uh, you already have stuff coming in from tab. I'm going to set this to protected. Protected. Because then we'll be able to see them here. We don't have to define them here. And we'll access them. Very good. Very good. Now let's go to our player GUI tabs here. And let's see what's going on. Now we have VM, font, player, all that stuff. We're going to have to shift some stuff over like we did in the last video. So I'm copying these two variables into character tab.cpp. Boom. And I'm going to rename these to tab back and or back, back, just back and info text, I guess. We'll, we'll add more stuff to this. This is just to try it out for, for starters. Um, so good. Once that's done, I want you to go to player GUI tabs .cpp now and copy over everything you have in here. Control X tab. Okay. Go over to character tab here and paste that in the character tab. And now obviously we need to replace stuff. So control R, uh, control R, control R, control F. And we're going to replace everything. Let's see. Here we go. There we go. Okay. So we're going to take character tab back and we're just going to replace it with back. <laughs> excuse me okay what's the problem okay character back fine character info text to info text place all of those boom good so now you're set and you're ready to go at least here character tab character tab this is going to complain a little bit so i'm not going to care anything i'm just going to remove these two functions in player gui tabs .h. And in here, in the CPP, I'm going to remove that, remove these functions. And here, I'm going to initialize my character tab with VM, font, and player. And now it's not going to complain. So now initialize my character tab. We have a character tab ready and good to go. And then we have our tab here. 
We have our structure complete, no more issues. Very good, very good. Now each tab, like I said, tabs will be abstract. So I'm gonna do a virtual update equals zero. Virtual render equals zero. Void, of course. And then SF render target pointer target. Now the reason I haven't used reference here is because I'm using uh, pointers everywhere else for target. So it's going to be inconsistent. Uh, but in the next series, I'm definitely going to use uh, references. So there you go. You're good to go in this one. Uh, vir virtual, virtual void tab. Very good. Now character tab is going to complain. So I'm going to do a void update void render SF render target target good and you need to define these so it should stop complaining render render good 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 now we're not rendering anything in this just yet we will be doing that very soon you can do this if you want target dot render uh, target dot draw sorry uh, back draw info text okay there we go so there you go so you have some kind of setup here the structure is complete we'll keep working on this in the coming videos but you have a character tab and it's all good it will render it properly uh, if you wish to try it you can go in here and you can make a render function in here as well we can do that quickly void render Render target target now this is obviously in player gui tabs because we want to just go ahead and create that update function and render it and in your render you want to do this character tab whoops dot render good good now i can run this just to see if it doesn't crash we don't like crashes okay good so it's not really rendering but it's there it's there uh or it will render eventually so here you go guys thank you so much for watching thanks for sticking with me and we'll fix this in the coming videos um and yeah we'll go from there thank you so much sorry about my voice stay safe from corona and all that it's really bad uh and take care of yourselves and your families also drop a like subscribe check out the top right eye and all the other links and i'll see you in the next one right bye bye